<laughs> Check this out. <laughs> internet it is 7 30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel welcome back to my tent as well it is too cold to <laughs> eat outside so i'm having my warm porridge breakfast uh, here inside my tent and i also have a nice hot coffee i'm trying to warm up a little bit <laughs> before the start of the day but hey welcome to iceland so I'm going to finish this breakfast and then I will show you on the map what is the plan for today because today is going to be a very long day I think. Where are we going today? I am now here and first I am going to ride to Isafjordur. So I'll probably follow this road to here and there I'm going to do the second corona test that I still have to do. And then I'm going to take this road past all these fjords here and then right here and then until there. And on the map that doesn't look like a very big distance, but it's actually 400 kilometers. <laughs> so that's quite a lot, uh, especially given that part of it is going to be on a gravel road. And I'm going to have to make that stop at Isafjordur to find a clinic. Um, so if you missed that, um, I had to do a COVID-19 test before I boarded the boat towards Iceland. I tested negative to that, but then they sent me an email that everybody has to do another test four to six days after and I already tried to do it in another clinic but then it was national holidays <laughs> so the clinics were closed so that's why I'm going to do that today but first I have to go and pack this wet tent <laughs> and all my other stuff and then uh, we go let's see what today will bring us to Isafjordur is uh, 114 kilometers and I think at least uh, around 60 will be on uh, gravel road so let's see over here it seems very compacted so no problems look at this beautiful Look at all that snow! Those colors green are just amazing! Wow! You see that there? Oh! Amazing! I can look just underneath the cloud there and I see the sea. <laughs> Look at this spectacular
I think I already see a sign for the hospital. So this clinic must be somewhere here. Oh, I think it's this. This must be the hospital. Ah, that's a very big hospital for such a small town. Check this out. <laughs> Ronin got a tad bit dirty this morning. Well done, girl. Let's go inside. Hi. Well, that was a quick exit. They only do it at 10 in the morning, only. No other time possible, only 10 in the morning. So, yeah, this is uh, not so easy. And the, they don't give me any information, you know, in the email that said that I had to do that the second test. They just said like, yeah, you have to do a test. And here are, here's the, this is a list of the towns where you can go to a clinic. They didn't even name the clinics or addresses or, opening times or nothing so you kind of just yeah have to figure it out yourself but this is not uh, working um, this way so well let's see I have a feeling that uh, I will then not do it anymore because yeah I only have a couple of days more in Iceland and then I'm already going back uh, back on the boat so not much point then <laughs> I didn't really try but Look at this place, stunning, right? Oh, I am so happy that I listened to these um, Icelandic guys who told me that I should go to the West Fjords. Really, this morning the ride was just fantastic. And uh, yeah, just so beautiful. The, the colors of green everywhere. And then, ah, it's amazing, it's amazing. So uh, it is now, what time is it now? Yeah, so 10 to 11. <laughs> so I'm 50 minutes late, but no, there's no way they could do it now. Anyway, um, let's continue the ride. That's all I can say. And uh, yeah, let's see what else uh, today is going to bring. It's still a long ride, so I still have uh, around 300 kilometers to go. Although I do think that all of that is probably asphalt, probably paved. So let's see. Anyway, let's go. <laughs>
started raining. I got 140 kilometers to go, so... I paid for my camping spot so let's go there and set up the tent so to give you an update as soon as I start to put up the tent <laughs> It started raining and then it took me about 20 minutes to get everything dry inside again and then everything was damp anyway then it was dry then I sat there for a while um, there's only one electricity spot so I kind of put an office down there and I was sitting down there with my laptop and trying to charge all my GoPro batteries and all my devices and transfer all my footage to my computer and anyway so it is now 6 30 and uh, i am cooking <laughs> well i'm heating up water look <laughs> that's my cooking and uh, uh, i have another of these uh, adventure food things this time it is pasta carbonara so that's going to be my dinner and then uh, hopefully it will stay dry by now but it's all the time you get these dark clouds coming and then it rains and then it's dry so yeah it's a little bit uh, changing all the time There you have it, pasta carbonara. <laughs> so I say bon appetit and that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.